So, your Google storage is full. You're getting those annoying error messages in Google Drive and Google Photos, right? It says things like, out of storage. Worse yet, you're probably getting emails from Google saying your photos stopped backing up, and even worse, your Gmail's not working. I get it. But here's the kicker. In every single one of those messages, Google is trying to do one thing get us to buy storage. And let me tell you, it's not just buying storage, it's committing to a monthly subscription. You're locked into paying for storage forever. But don't worry, I've got your back. Together, we're going to fix this step by step, without deleting everything and definitely without giving Google any of your money. First things first, let's head to Google One, that's one.google.com, where we manage all our storage. I'm on my phone here, but you can also do this on a desktop. I've put links in the description so you can follow along easily. Once you're on Google One, you'll see a message right at the top that says your storage is full. And of course, there's that tempting upgrade button. But nope, we're not going there. Every time we try to do something in Google One, it pushes us to buy more storage, but there's a better way. Scroll down a bit and you'll see a box that says storage. Click on it, you'll see exactly where your storage is going. In my case, 13 gigabytes is being used up by Google Photos. Then I have other things like Gmail and Google Drive eating up space, but this is where you can start to track it. Now, there's another box right below it that says clean up space. Click on view and you'll see some options to delete stuff. I can select this one that says emails with large attachments and I can select all emails one after the other or select all emails in the trash or spam emails. Then you can delete them but I won't do that. Let's go to large photos and videos. You can select items one by one by clicking the little check boxes, or you can check the box at the top to select everything. But hold on, I've got a way to clear up space without deleting any of your precious photos and videos. Go to this link I've put in the description, photos.google.com slash quota management. This page lets you manage your storage in Google Photos, and it's the key to clearing up space without losing anything. Once you're there, scroll down and you'll find an option to recover storage. Here, you can switch your photos and videos to storage saver quality. Let me explain. When you upload photos to Google Photos, you have two options, original quality or storage saver quality. Storage saver compresses the files to a smaller size, which helps save storage. Here's how to do it. Open Google Photos, tap on your profile picture in the top right, and go to Photos Settings. Then tap on Backup and Sync. Scroll down to Upload Size and choose Storage Saver. I've been using this setting for years, and honestly, I can barely tell the difference. Your original files are still on your phone, so you're not losing anything. Now let's go back to Manage Storage in Google Photos and click on Learn More. You'll see a pop-up that says Recover Storage and gives you the option to compress existing photos and videos. Check that box and click on Compress Existing Photos and Videos. This will compress all your photos and videos to storage saver size. And don't worry, your original files are still safe on your phone. This is just for the ones in Google Photos. Now I know you might be thinking, wait, nothing happened, but don't panic. I made the same mistake myself. It looks like nothing changed at first, but when we scroll back down, it says compressing. This may take several hours. Google is working its magic, compressing all those files. So I will wait for a few more minutes, then refresh the page. Okay, it passed 30 minutes now. Let's refresh the page, and yes, we did it. We've cleared out storage in Google Photos, and now we've got more room on our Google Drive. I honestly don't know how Google compression could do this because I can't tell a difference between the original and compressed file. If you find the video helpful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. It really means a lot to me.